Welcome to Steelworks and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay, so what do we got going on for today? Well, today we're going to make a nice Irish treat. I've been looking forward to this one. Okay, but there is something you could do to really help this channel out. And it's so easy to do. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button down there if you got a chance. Um, number two, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new content coming out. Number three, share us with your friends get the word out. Number four, if you like what you see, please give us that thumbs up. And number five, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So what do we got going on today? Today we are going to make a, our very own Irish cream. Uh, this ought to be fantastic and you're going to see how easy it is. It don't take very long. So let's see what we got. Okay, you'll need some type of a blender. And then the very first ingredient will be some heavy cream. And it is about one cup of heavy cream. That was what was left in this container. Okay. Next, you're gonna need a one can of the sweetened condensed milk. It's of, I think, 14 and a half ounces, I do believe. And it is pretty uh, thick and pretty sweet. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to need is some chocolate syrup. Uh, you know, I never really realized how many different ingredients was in the Irish cream. There's quite a few. So what we're going to need is we're going to look at two, uh, two tablespoons. And I'll be honest with you, I'm going to go heavy handed on this. There's one. And two. Okay. Alright, so now the next thing that we're going to need is um, we're going to need two tablespoons of some type of coffee. Uh, I got this espresso. It was a, it's actually an espresso martini mixer, and it I figured it'd work out good for this. Uh, but if you had some instant coffee that you could use that or just some uh, any kind of strong coffee would will work okay so I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this in one and two Okay, now the next one is we're going to use one tablespoon. Get rid of this one. We're going to use one tablespoon of vanilla extract. One tablespoon of almond extract. Almond, yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Get these out of the way. Now, the next one is. We are going to use one and a half cups of Irish whiskey. A lot of people use Jameson's, and whatever your favorite Irish whiskey, Irish whiskey would be. Uh, I'm going to use Still Works and Bruins Irish whiskey that we made a while back. It, it tastes fantastic. So we need one and a half cups of that. There's one. And 
half. All right. And we're almost done. Okay, so the only left thing we got left to do, we're gonna blend this together. Sure it's okay, right? Nice looking color. Ah, that is good. I mean, extremely creamy. Uh, I, I sure can taste the chocolate, smell the chocolate, and and the almond. It, it adds a little bit of something there too, and, and just that hint of coffee. gonna be very good okay so what we're gonna do with it now is we'll take it and we'll put it in a mason jar Put that in the refrigerator. Yeah, we got a nice drink to have. Now you can put this in your coffee. Uh, me, I like it just to drink it on ice. I do like it in my coffee though. Put a little bit of uh, uh, whiskey in your coffee. Add the nice strong coffee and top it off with this. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, this was just a quick video, something I really enjoyed. Well, there's a little bit left in there. Can't let it go to waste, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just something simple to make with some of the products you make. That's what's so great about this hobby. Uh, last thing I got to say is thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>